And this was a question by Eric, and I think more people asked this as well. Uh, and that is how to get the different levels right. Hmm. Um, how to get the different levels right. What? Yeah. What on uh, earth do that, you mean this, here? Well, to get again, I mean, there's not one easy answer. There's no, there's no magic uh, formula, uh, and it is challenging to to get the right levels. Uh, but if, Mark, if you click to the next uh, slide, I will do that for you. Yeah, there we that are. Gives a, a a pretty good guidance. This is something that. In my consultancy practice, we develop those kind, those levels. Hard to, hard to think in a way. Um, I mean, level one are just before, during, after, and then level two is what is happening actually in before. And then level three is what happens in one of the pieces in level two, in the before parts, and then level four is very close to like a digital. Uh, flow or or uh, uh, very narrow down uh, into descri describing exactly what happens for instance when you sign up or something but a, a good a good way to think of this is that the level two is should be not more than about 30 cards um, and I think that when doing this I think this question comes because when doing those kind of when doing the journey map development in workshops or or by yourself or research based you will find a lot of things that would be be too detailed it's maybe you could put them in a level two but then after a while take them away and put them in a level three instead so you can't do it you can't you can't really do the right level from start start doing it and then you see that okay we can't compare that one to that one because that activity is a narrow down it's a zoomed in level but don't have the ambition to make it right from beginning. Start, see it is more or less like a sketch. And when you look at the sketch, you see that you have to take away some things and put them on the lower level. Uh, and then a few things maybe you have to describe better because they are too, uh, on the too high level. Mm -hmm. then I, I think that's a really, really practical and good tip. Just start mapping it and start playing around. And then uh, as long as you know that there are different levels, um, you, you can switch between them. I think a problem is that most people just don't realize that there is like a granularity that they can add to their map. And then just, they just, they, they mess up be, because they have different detail levels in one overview. Then that's where trouble starts. Yeah, I think that's really where trouble starts. And I think it's much better than to lift things out and put them in a level three and start to think of, are all those comparable? And do we really need to dig down to in a level three? Are we going to develop things here? So we need a level three or don't we? Uh, because I see that people are over detailing things by two reasons. Either that it's easy to, they have a lot of customer know-how. So they over detail things in level two, but why do you have to, to put that everything out just because you have the know-how if mm. you don't need it? And mm. the next reason why people are detailing too much is because it's an important uh, part of the journey. So they want to detail it to, to really make changes there. Mm. Mm. But then it's better to make a level three because the level two is a high level end to end you could go with it to the management team explain it quickly uh, and it's you can't come with a level three because the 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 c people the c level people don't want to listen to you because it's too detailed right right so that's and i think that's also what we uh, very very clearly explain in the course that before you start actually journey mapping you need to know why you're doing it and yeah. what detail level you need yeah. uh, and that will also maybe help you to answer this question like on which level do i need to map you need to you need to sort of know why you're making that map and if it's for implementation or if it's for uh, actually crafting and building the service you would probably need more detail than mm. a map that you're going to present to the board mm. But but also and uh, 
I totally, I yeah, you said it perfectly. But also, never think that you will come right from the beginning. <laughs> you will never do that. You will just have start have idea of what you want to want to do. But it will take you a few turns before you are there. It's not a linear process. This. Mm -hmm. I hope that's a good takeaway. Just play around with it and uh, iterate. Like yeah. the, the magic word, iterate, iterate, and iterate again. Uh, hope that was helpful on how detailed uh, you should go. Uh, good insights, uh, Daniel. Thanks.